We're going to measure the current draw of this rig here, and you've got to break the power supply path somewhere and insert your ammeter in series. So we'll just do it right here at the power pole connector. I'll put in the negative and just leave it connected. I'll connect my ammeter in series with the positive lead. 288 milliamps, 290 on a peak there. That's just sitting here idle. Uh, no audio. 288 to 287. GPS is turned on. The a wireless oh, LAN is turned on. So what we'll end up doing is coming in here. Dropped it a little. Dropped a little. Well, that's surprisingly efficient. I would have thought it would have went down a lot more than that. 281 with Bluetooth off, wireless LAN off, and then with the display off. The display doesn't really draw that much, does it? 40 milliamps. Okay, Tommy, go ahead. We should still be on two meters, I believe. In 5Z and you no. Know. up a little bit but not a lot now if you want it to go up you transmit with it yes sir that's where this baby comes in yep except you got to plug it up that baby here george your turn you get on the air so now it's dropped down to 237 okay and we're probably set for 10 watts yes Okay, in 5Z and O, trying again. Still less than two amps. Yes, sir. Wow. Now, the specifications do say because the battery pack is 7.6 volts, mm -hmm. P equals IE. The calculation works all the time. So the battery is running at 7.6 volts. What we're running off right now is, well, we'll have to check that. Let's see. We'll go back here to power. others external 13 of course when you're charging the battery it's going to pull more yeah so it's pulling 420 mils for charging when we first introduced the radio that was the number one question is how much current will it pull and there's no way that it could be anywhere close to the other qrp radios because of it having the big display mm -hmm. Without listening, Ray, read the display on the fluke and tell me what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, you mentioned it to me before, but uh, on a fully charged battery, like from 51, how, how long would you get just for listening on this radio? You, you've probably had practical experience with that, right? We've, we've got a, a spec on it for 5590, pretty much what we use for a uh, handheld battery current mm -hmm. drain. I don't remember off the top of my head, but we were doing four hours of setup listening to local radio station and we still had two thirds of the battery. Okay. After sitting for a while, the display goes into screensaver mode. Right. So, and, and, and this, this, this is interesting. Now it's down to two, 230 mils. Oh yeah. The work at sideband, the duty cycle, so much less also than sitting there on D-Star. And I did forget to turn off one other thing. I'll turn the GPS on. Look at that, Tommy, with the GPS off. Oh, wow. Well, that's, yeah, that's where a lot of your consumption was coming from right there. G GPS and the screen off. 177 milliamps. So that GPS, that's a, that, that would go off right away unless you absolutely had to have it. There are 
some QRP rigs out there that are specced at minimum current. We're real close to it at minimum current. The specs in our brochures are what you'll typically see, the, the normal configuration. While Ray is busy packing antennas, we'll take this opportunity to secretly change his IC705 with another QRP rig and see if he can tell the difference. Hey George, don't think of doing anything funny with my radio while I'm packing these antennas. <laughs>